Okay, so at the end of the uh, part one of this video, we had fixed up our background and I was working on the car. Now, I'll show you the layer now that I've worked on the car and you'll see that I've removed a lot of the distracting little bits and pieces. I could have gone even further than that if I wanted to um, and gone right in and gotten all these little bits and these little bits along here. But at this point, I'm not sure how big or small this photograph's gonna be. So if this is gonna be a, a billboard, I'd go in down to the pixel level and really clean everything up. So all these little lines along here and everything would be cleaned up. But I think for this particular purpose, we've probably, I've gone as far as I'm, I'm happy to, and I've taken a lot of those reflections and bits and pieces off of the car. What I wanna do now is work with the model. Um, and we have quite an attractive young lady here. However, with all models, um, it doesn't matter how skinny or slim or curvy or whatever they are, um, there's all sorts of things uh, that we use as little tricks to help um, make them look just that little bit better. Um, I'm not going to get into any sort of philosophical arguments over whether this is wrong, right or indifferent. As you can see, she looks fabulous as it is. It's really up to the author um, and the purpose of the image as to whether any of this is done. One thing I am going to do though is just come in here real quick and just get rid of this uh, little bit of a mark on the leg there. Um, there's a few issues to start with. I want to do some reshaping of the face because I'm still not 100% happy with the shadows that are on her face. It's got a bit of a, um, a horror movie style lighting on here with the light coming from up from underneath. So I want to fix some of that up. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to slim her down. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to copy my a layer that I've worked on last time. I'm going to change that to what's known as screen. Now screen lightens everything up, which is fabulous, but I don't want everything light. I just want to lighten some shadows and create some shape in her face. So I'm going to add onto here a mask, which you get down in this bottom corner, but I'm going to hold the Alt key down while I press the mask. And that's the shortcut key to give me a black mask. Once I've got my black mask there, I'm going to come in nice and close. And we've got some shadowing here. Oops, let's try using the brush instead of the, uh, the healing tool, might help. I'm just gonna lighten up, very gently lighten up some of the area in here. Now just a note to the author here, and this is a, again another common uh, mishap for um, beginners. Just be a little bit careful when you're focusing or working on an image like this that um, we've got quite a large car on a 45 degree angle. And if I just back out of this and go over to here, you'll notice that the focus is in this section here. When we come to look at our model, if this is a fashion shot and this is where we're wanting the eye to go, this has now become a little soft because of our depth of field. So it's not out of focus, it's just soft because it's falling back out of the focusing point. So just be a little careful with your um, aperture selection when you're doing this sort of image. For some reason my screen went off of my uh, um, mask. So I'm just gonna back this off now because obviously it's gone too far. So I'm just gonna put that all back in again so we can start that little bit again. So just come in a little closer. So there we are, that's all back to normal. So I'm just gonna come in here, fix up this little bit of shadowing, a little run down the front of the nose and just a little bit into the face here. I just wanna actually lighten that face a little bit overall anyway, just so that we've got a little bit more um, highlight into there. And I'm also just gonna run my brush down the arm and down the front of this leg here, just to highlight those are the areas that we're wanting the eye to go to. So I've now got my light lightening happening and I'm quite happy with that. Little trick, Control, Shift, Alt, E. Gives me a layer that has all these other layers squished up and on top uh, in one. So I've now basically got a, a starting point. I can delete all these off if I want to. I'll just leave them on for now. Um, my next trick is going to be using the liquefier tool. Now, we can slim down bodies and change body shape by using the liquefier tool or by using the warp tool, which is another uh, fun tip that I 
tend to use. I'm going to use the liquify today. Um, rather than open the whole thing in liquify, I'm just going to circle our model and I'm going to then open it up in filter liquify. Uh, liquify. And I don't want to make her look ridiculously skinny because that's just ridiculous. Um, but what I do want to do is just slim her down in a few little point parts. So I'm just going to come in a little closer on what I'm doing here. I want to just bring this elbow um, down a little so that it's a little straighter. And what I'm using is what's called the pucker tool. So I'm just bringing this in little bit by little bit. And when you do the arm, you've got to make sure you also puck it in the wrist area. Otherwise, it doesn't look quite right. So I'm just going to make that a little thinner. And then I'm just going to do the same thing along this back of this arm. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit by a little bit. And it's just click by click, basically, is how I do this. Just one little click at a time. Now, I will admit, I do make this look reasonably easy, but I've been doing Photoshop for many years, and this can take a little bit of practice. So don't think if you get in here and can't get it done that all of a sudden Photoshop sucks. You just have to make Photoshop your friend. I do the same thing with the leg down here as well. And again, I'm not saying that her legs are anything but gorgeous, but what I'm doing is just showing you how we would do this in a... Um, commercial sense to swim things up and I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong it's just what gets done it's gonna whoops come out a little bit now see how the ankle there I actually moved as I did that I moved it and I puckered it way too much I'm just going to come back up to this one here which is reconstruct tool and I can run over that and it'll take it back to where it was and then I can go back to my pucker tool and give her the most beautiful slender ankle Okay, I'm pretty happy with how she's looking now. Maybe even just a little bit more in the back of the neck there. And if I come in a little closer here on her spine, <coughs> bring my brush down a little bit more. I'm going to bring her in on the back here as well. Now, I would be happy with that, but... I know what girls are like, so I'm also going to do some of the front here. Now, when you're posing a model like this, getting a curve in the back here is fabulous because these are hard to fix up. Sometimes it's better to get the curve in the back and not worry so much about what's going on in the front because it's much easier for us in this particular case to make some adjustments to the front of this image than, or the front of the model than it is to the back of the model. So just keep that in mind if you do start doing Photoshop. Uh, a lot for images like this. Just keeping in mind little things like that will make it a lot easier when you do go to try and do some editing for uh, these sorts of purposes. Okay, so I'll just come back out again. She's looking pretty fabulous there. Might just do one more little click up here on the arm. And let's just open that back up into our uh, normal layer here. So I'll just come in nice and close so you can see actually what has happened here. So there's what she was like before and there's what she's like afterwards. Now some girls will look at this and go oh, that's fabulous and other girls will go what's wrong with me? We all seem to uh, try to think that we there's something wrong with us and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this young lady. She's absolutely gorgeous but we are able to do certain things within our Photoshop area. So just keep that in mind. Okay, the next thing we're going to do now is just to shape the image just a little bit more before we finish it. What I'm going to do is take my lasso tool and I'm just going to create a little bit of a vignette. There's a little bit of a hot spot down in that bottom corner. So I'm just going to wrap this around the car and our model a little bit. And you can do this a couple of times if you're not quite sure exactly where it needs to go. It'll sort itself out. And I'm going to use a layer, uh, sorry, an adjustments layer, which is the curves layer. Now, I've also got my feather up the top here to 250 pixels, so it's a nice soft feathering on there. Now, with a curves layer, if I drop it down, it goes darker. If I bring it up, it goes lighter. But I don't want the centre bit done. I actually want the 
uh, edges to go darker. So I need to do Control I to invert my mask. And now you can see as I do this, it's actually just bringing the, the edges of that down, which is just fabulous. And I'm quite happy with that there. I'm also going to do, um, if I just pop back into my layers, I just want to turn that on and off. And if I had any issues with this going onto the car, I can use my brush on that mask to fix that up as well. The next thing I want to do is I want to um, just make a, this whole area just that little bit lighter. So I'm going to do the same thing as what I did before. I'm just going to grab this part of the car here and this little bit of the model because that's our interest point. And I'm going to go to my adjustment mask, turn off the last one, make a new one. And I'm just going to bring that up just a little bit brighter. So it's just nice and spectacular. To really just set this off and really do a little bit more, I'm going to add one final thing, which um, a lot of you probably won't have. Under my uh, actions here, I use a plugin for Photoshop called uh, Portraiture, and it just smooths skin down. Um, I've got this set up as an action, so I don't have to go into the program and open it and do all the settings. It just runs it for me. Um, oh, except, let me just stop that for a second. I need to create a, file, a layer with everything on it to be able to put the portraiture um, or run the portraiture one on. So I'll just run that now. You see, here's my portraiture layer. And I'm going to come in nice and close on the face here, just so you can see what portraiture does. So if I turn this off and on, it just softens the skin slightly. So it just softens it a little bit more. Now the thing is, I don't actually want this to be soft everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mask, click on this mask and go Control I, which removes it from everywhere. And the places that I really want this skin softening is my brush. I want it up the arm, across that arm there, down this leg. And this will give us like a really silky smooth, uh, sexy skin on the leg there. Let's turn my power up a bit on there. And then I just want it on the face, but then I'm going to go in really close and take it off the eyes. Now, as we've already mentioned, this is a very soft image with a depth of folk field uh, issue, not a focusing issue. And that is pretty much where I would leave that image. I would then show that to the client or whatever, and then depending on the size from, of the image, I would then take it from there to see um, if there was anything else that needed to be done to it. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, this particular tutorial and uh, have learnt something. See you next time.